is Cat here with Tag's Canine, and uh, Mr. Grayson joining me today. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about how to use this long line, because I'm sure it's really frustrating when it gets bound up and tangled and knotted, or caught on something, wrapped around your dog's leg, they pee on it. <laughs> There's so many things that could go wrong when you're using a lifeline, and plenty that can go right. But we want to use it in a way that makes it less stressful for everyone involved. If you're stopping every five minutes and untangling your dog from their line, it's going to be really frustrating for both you and your pup. There's no one over there. <laughs> so when I have the long line on my dog, at first, when I'm getting used to using the leash, I'm just going to have my dog in assist. And I'm going to slowly back away. But I'm going to wrap my leash up in my hand so that I have the ability to let it go as needed. Okay, so I just have it simply wrapped up. And as I need to let it go, it can just fall off my hand. Very easy. <clears throat> now, when I back up, it's very important not to let the line touch the ground. You don't just want to drop it. That's what's causing it to tangle. You want to keep it semi-tucked where it has uh, some tension for you to grab rather than it just being on the floor. So when I walk away, I'm going to slowly let out my leash, but I'm going to keep that tension on it. filming so um, hope that helped all you guys and thanks for tuning in